Hello everybody, this is Bora Nelson with Random R Attack, and today we're going to be going inside Blender to do animations ready to export into Unity. So without further ado, let's jump into Blender and get started. So inside of Blender, up at the top, there's a bunch of different tabs. Click Animation. Now, this will bring up the screen. I changed this from gray to colored so I can actually see my shark crab. Yay! I mean, we spent that much time. Might as well see the thing. And then we change this to action editor right there. And then this screen I don't use at all. So change that to either dope sheet or graph. Frankly speaking, I'm doing dope sheet on the tutorial, but graph is probably going to be more useful. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and change the bones to make sure that they're rolled correctly because I'm going to be doing a lot of copying and mirroring. So control N, flip axis. And if you don't click that, it's going to mess up everything. So flip axis. And then make sure that the bones are rolled to your liking. You can play around with the different types. So y, y global, X global, whatever you want. And now as I select the bones, so just R, rotate that thing. Control C, Control Shift V, and you saw how that mirrored it. If this mirrors, you're good to go. Uh, and we're ready to start to do animations. So also on the pose tab here, you can see all the different, so copy pose, paste pose, paste axis flip, things of that nature. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new action right there. Type in anything you want. You can have as many actions as you want. Click the shield. Click the shield. If you don't click the shield, it will erase a lot of your work. So you want every action you have, make sure that that shield is clicked. All right, now go ahead and select a bone. Put it into an extreme position. Hit I, and then that's insert keyframe. Location, rotation, scale is typically what I do, but you can just do rotation, location if you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and move that. You can move, you saw there, by just selecting the different keyframes and just hitting G to move. And then go to frame 10, move that back to an extreme pose, I, and then you want to duplicate this. So shift D, just drag that to 20. That way it's seamless as it goes back and forth. So if I, if I played between 0 and 20, it would just start and end on the same thing. In between this, on keyframe 15, you saw that I just lifted the leg. And so I'm just making these animations so it goes backwards and then forward and lifts and then so on. I'm going to do the same thing for all of these different ones. Go ahead and just move this to where you want it. I duplicate that to 20, move it back for 10, move it up for 15, and Bob's your uncle. There we go. I actually have an Uncle Bob, so I love that saying. Now, with all these keyframes done for these legs, we're going to go ahead and mirror this onto the back legs as well. So with those selected, control C, control shift V, and you saw it just moved it like that. Location, rotation, scale. Select all those, duplicate it to 20. Go to keyframe 10, control shift C, I mean control C, control shift V, mirror those, etc. And I'm just basically duplicating all these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the legs on one side, all the keyframes, shift D, drag them, line them up, drag them, line them up so that it is a seamless walk cycle. I want more than just one thing because I'm going to be moving these forward and backwards to get this oscillation in the legs. So with this middle leg selected, for example, I don't want them both going forward at the same time. So hitting G, I'm going to move all the keyframes for that middle leg, about 10 or so, like that. And I'm going to see if this looks the way I want to look. So as one's going forward, the other's going backwards, and this is kind of what I want. So I'm going to move that more. Let's hit play. And so you can kind of see how it's offset, right? That's a little too much, so I'm going to move that only five off, and that looks better. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the back leg, but I'm going to offset this an additional five, so ten. So the front leg is normal, the, back, the middle leg is offset by five, and that back leg is offset by ten. And it looked pretty good. Now you can go to stick mode to be able to see this. I can clear that off. I'm looking at this animation and it's looking really quite good. So I'm liking that. Now the only problem is it's overlapping like this, as you can see. I'm not gonna take time in this tutorial to actually show how I fix that, but basically what I'm gonna go do is go through this and change it so that the, the actions aren't so as extreme, but basically just tweak this a little bit here and there, like such, where I'm just moving this and then after I tweak it, I just duplicate it the three times to coincide with my three cycles. Or four times, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and do some movie magic and skip towards the middle section here. So with the magic of film editing, I now have the left and the right leg not clipping each other, but I need to offset the left and the right side. So I select all of the armatures on the right and then just hit G and just move it by five or so, or 10. 
Now we had the walk, walk cycle already where we wanted it, but now the left leg and the right legs are going to be off of one another that you want. And that's basically it. Now what I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing is going through, and I'm not going to show you all of this because we have something really important to talk about about the root bone, but it's not just enough to get the legs to do the, what you want. You want the whole body to be moving in this kind of a fluid position. So I'm going through, I'm clicking the tail, I'm adding some key bones, making sure that this is seamless. So keyframe one and keyframe 100 have to be the exact same on everything that I, I added a keyframe to. Um, you can scale these, you can move these, you can duplicate these, but basically I have a dipping, moving motion for the tail, the body, the fin, the claws. The claws are opening and closing slowly, just subtle movements. The mouth itself is even moving a little bit as it walks. It kind of gapes open, then shuts, then gapes open and shuts, all focusing to make sure that it's a cycle, okay? The first frame and the last frame always have to be the same. Otherwise, you'll have a stop in a seamless loop. And I want this to loop, okay? So that's all I'm doing. I'm going through this and changing all this. Let's go ahead and jump to the root bone. The root bone is one of the most important animations. You do it at the very end. Don't ever edit it until the very end. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be blocking it out so that the root bone's moving this thing forward. And this is extremely important in Unity because it's actually gonna drive the locomotion of the, the game object itself and the rotation, everything like that. Um, I'm, so I'm gonna block this in and then I'm going to start to kind of refine this by looking at the legs and we're gonna be doing some extrapolation and working with graphs. So without further ado, let's do that. All right, here we go with the root bone. You select it, insert a keyframe at the very beginning, and I'm just moving to the end frame and moving it to where I wanna be. This isn't a loop, so you, it doesn't have to start and end at the same thing because it's gonna be moving forward. Now let's play this to see what it looks like. And you can see it looks pretty bad. It's like gliding. Also it's slow, like it starts slow, then speeds up, then slows down, which you do not want inside of Unity at all. So the first thing we need to do is fix the slowing down and speeding up. So right here, go to graph, and then select this and hit vector. So I think that was just a right click vector. Now it's just gonna be linear, but you can still see that it's gliding and it looks really unnatural. So what we wanna do is go to this back leg and find where it hits the ground, boop, right there. I'm just gonna right click the screen so that moves my cursor there and then move forward before it lifts back up. And that's where the back leg should be is on that red cursor. So just select this and move it back, so G, and I'm just moving this backwards so the leg is above that red cursor. And then I, and then I'm gonna delete this end keyframe here. And so now as I play it, you see how that works a lot better, but I need to extrapolate this. So channel, extrapolation mode in the graph, and it will make it basically go on forever. So going to keyframe 100, you can insert a new keyframe. So I, oh, Gonna make sure that this looks good before I submit to anything, right? Yep, looks great. So hit I, location rotation, and that's pretty much it. We've done it. We went through how to animate inside of Blender 2.8. I to insert keyframes, roll the bones, make sure it's flipped axis so that you can control C and then paste that over the opposite side, block things out, and Make sure that you do the root, root bone last. Root, 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 root. Can't talk. Anyways, thank you. Subscribe. Please share this on social media. Twitter it really helps us. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it. That's all good. Comment. It really helps with the search algorithm. Have a great day, everybody. See you on the next video. Bye.